It's time to pack. Good morning, my people. It is currently 6 in the morning and I am fully awake. I'm trying to make some coffee because you guys know coffee. My weakness comes and goes. We're back. It was a really good run. It was a four mile run. Super fast, super easy. But now, the most important part of my morning no, it's not coffee, it's breakfast. We're playing house right now. He's sitting on the other side and I'm all the way over here. And look at our view, man. So beautiful outside. It is Saturday, which means I'm doing my 10 miler today. It's my last run here up in Big Bear, so it's pretty exciting. My coach is here, he's gonna be pacing me. Um, we're gonna have breakfast after that and then we're gonna come back and take a nap because that's what I do. Hey guys, it is, I don't know how many hours later, but I had a really good run. Coach was really happy with my times. After that, we went out for breakfast and came back, shower, took a nap, slept like a baby, and now we're getting ready for lunch. But before I eat lunch, on our way to lunch, and I was telling my boyfriend, I realized that I brought three shirts of the same color so it probably looks like I'm wearing the same clothes, but I'm not, I promise you that. <laughs> it's so hot today. It's actually warmer than yesterday, and I think yesterday I said this is the hottest it's been, but today is the hottest it's been up here. after eating that giant burrito and having a burrito baby is <laughs> this nursery and this guy here wow. he's a flower boy so he likes this kind of stuff and oh we spotted it out goodness. so I told him to come over here this is what we end up getting this is the race I was talking about, guys. Real. <laughs> it's time to pack. Doing the final walkthrough. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. Bye, cabin. It's been real, but it's time to go back home. How long is the drive? Like a two hour, three two hours, hour? Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. It is um almost noon, so we'll be there by two, hopefully. My body aches to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm re Good morning guys, I'm back at my house It was a really, really nice trip being up in Big Bear. I do miss it a little bit. Yesterday I was telling my boyfriend, oh, this kind of sucks, so I want to be up in Big Bear. But it's all right, it's Monday, new week, tapering week to be exact. So that means today I'm running 90 minutes and it's a heart rate run from 126 to 146. I have to make sure that I'm running on dirt just because I want my knees and everything to be good. Usually when you run on cement, that's bad for your knees. Even if you don't see it right away or you don't feel any pain, it's gonna catch up to you. So make sure you're running on dirt or grass and try to avoid cement. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna head out right now. Do my 90 minute run and then come back and have some breakfast. I should be protein loading today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I should be carb loading for the race. And then Sunday is race day. 
I'm back from my run. Let me tell you, it's brutal out there. It's so hot. So I'm actually gonna make, um, I know this might sound kind of weird, but I'll make ground turkey egg omelet with spinach. I have some tomatoes. I'm gonna do that. I put some rice in the rice cooker and it's ready. I'm gonna cook this ground turkey and I'm gonna add some onion powder, Southwest Chipotle and Mrs. Dash, sodium free, and of course my Himalayan salt. So I finished cooking, it was very easy, I had breakfast, and now I'm gonna get ready to go to work because I'm not on vacation anymore. I have to go to work. <laughs> I'm back from my run, and this morning I only had a 40 minute run, so it went by super quick. It is currently 10.30 and I'm working on making some chicken liver. I know I cooked yesterday and I made two meal preps, but I need more food, of course. So I'm making some chicken liver that's gonna last me for today, tomorrow, and then on Thursday, I'll probably prep some more food. I'm gonna use this Fiesta Lime, Mrs. Dash, Himalayan salt, and onion powder. I went to Lessons and they had these on sale, so of course I had to get more. Even though I already have some, but you could never have enough of these hydration pills. For breakfast, I'm actually having this yogurt, which is 20 grams of protein. I was gonna add honey, but I don't know what happened to the honey. It's not here. Someone stole it. So I'm having that, and I'm also having um, these power protein waffles. So I'm gonna have two of those. I added peanut butter and jelly to my protein waffles. Yas, and I'm gonna have a glass of milk with that. Hey guys, I just finished my last run before my marathon. Next time you see me running, I'll be running for my medal. That's gonna go up there with my collection. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna get in the shower, get ready, and hurry up because I'm supposed to meet up my brother, my little one, and my older one, both. Uh, my little brother is having a graduation banquet, so he's gonna be giving a speech, he's gonna be performing, and he's gonna be hosting it. I finally got picked up. Now I'm on my way to meet up Kevin and see what this event is all about. I'm excited, but to be honest, I'm most excited about the food because I'm hungry. <laughs> I wish I came to high school here. I know, that's what I was saying, Juan. Made it back home after spending four hours at this banquet. It took forever and I'm so tired. 
but I still need to pack. I probably should have done that earlier, but of course, leave it to me to do it last minute. So I'm not even taking a lot of stuff because it's only a two-day trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, Saturday, and then coming back Sunday night after I rest and all that. So I'm going to show you what I'm taking with me. All right, so I usually take two outfits with me. I take something in case it, it's a warm weather type of race. So I got shorts and this tank. And then I also take clothes with me in case it is a little bit cooler. So I got some leggings and a long sleeve and another shirt. I got two pairs of underwear. I got gloves in case I need them in the morning before the run. I got two pairs of socks and I got my running socks which I always wear for my long distance. Is this brand. I have two sport bras because I don't know exactly which one I'm going to wear yet. I'm taking my two hats because I don't know which one I'm going to wear and I need options. I'm taking my flip belt with me. I also have some shorts and just a regular t-shirt for after the run. Taking my foam rollers, of course I am. And then I'm just taking um, my Yukan. I'm taking the whole container. I'm taking a bottle shaker. I'm also taking my deodorant. Um, what is it? Hair oil toothbrush, makeup remover, and toothpaste, of course. And I only take a little bit of makeup with me. I probably won't even have the energy to do my makeup after my run or anything. I probably, I shouldn't even take my makeup. Why am I taking my makeup? I'm leaving my makeup. <laughs> and of course, a hairbrush for after the shower. So this is what I'm packing. And this is what Kevin's packing. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'm so excited to share this experience with you guys. One day out from the Ventura Marathon, I've been working my ass off for the last six months to get results and we're finally gonna see what happens. Just so excited I was able to share this whole journey with you guys. So thanks for your support again and I'll catch you on the next video. Call me. Saw me, call me.